In just a few weeks, Cook County homeowners will be getting their property tax bills. Now imagine if you owe nothing. That happened to a booming business on the south side. CBS 2's Chris Dye is always investigating and found it's now part of a large scale investigation. Our factory is located in a classic Chicago fire station. The former Chicago fire station on West 95th Street here now serves as a factory and showroom for Optimo hat makers. They produce and sell high end hats online and from this loop storefront. But it's the old firehouse location that recently got the attention of the Cook County Inspector General. Namely, why in 2017 the property tax bill for the renovated hat factory came in at zero dollars. I'm a hat maker. Graham Thompson owns the company. He was working with attorneys to minimize his tax exposure in 2017 but he knew while the old occupants, the city and its firefighters were tax exempt, he was not. In a just released report, the county inspector general determined that by erroneously exempting the property and assigning zero assessment value for the tax year 2017, the Cook County Assessor's Office effectively granted the taxpayer a savings of $10,558. The IG says the gaffe was on the county assessors who failed to implement internal controls to get it right. And moving forward, they must determine the source of the assessment discrepancies. It happened on the watch of former county Assessor Joe Berrios. His replacements office telling CBS2 tonight about changes we've made since taking office in 2018, including better internal control and oversight of these type of problems, and that we will continue to improve the operations of our office to ensure all property owners are treated fairly. If you're wondering, back taxes will be paid, and we uncovered this is not the only case where the assessor failed to collect proper taxes. A home built on an empty lot years ago in Chicago has been paying taxes as an empty lot, not as a freestanding home, even as new homeowners moved in. In the newsroom, Chris Ty, CBS2 News.